Okay, we're going to create a new uh, class uh, that'll be our object that we use in the data source. So that way we can uh, just have one object that holds all of our marker information that we can just you know pass to the data source and then uh, save it to our database. So we're going to go ahead and create the new class. We'll call it um, my oops oops my marker object. It's going to be very easy, just all private, and um, try to keep your data types the same type that it, that's in the column. That way, you don't have to parse it and uh, you know make it uh, hard to work with. Oops. The string for the title. Um, yeah, we're just we're just copying the column types. So, uh, string for the snippet, and one last one. Oops. For the position. And since we're not saving the actual position, like a, as a latitude and longitude object type, we're going to actually get the latitude and the longitude separately, uh, parse that, and convert it to a string. It'll be separated by a space. The latitude and longitude will be separated by a space in the string. And we're going to push the string to the actual database, and then we'll just parse the string separately within the class. Um, when we get there, you'll see what I mean. We'll just have a empty constructor, a, a filled up a constructor, an overloaded constructor, and then we'll uh, encapsulate these fields and let Eclipse do that for us. Encapsulate fields. We want both getters and setters for all of them. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and that's it.